What's up everybody, my name is Braskus and welcome to Construct Escape the System. This is described as, I believe, being like a first person runner, almost like Mirror's Edge, games of that nature. I don't really know much more than that, but it looked interesting and I wanted to try it, so here we are. Okay, mouse to look, WASD to move, gotcha. I can do that, probably shift to sprint. There you go, toggle sprint can be enabled in the options menu. So if you wanna hold it or toggle it, I usually prefer to hold, so we'll just keep shift to sprint. Uh, okay. Space to jump, space while sprinting to cover greater distances. Jump indicator is shown at the lower left of the screen. Huh, okay. Yeah, this is cool. I love the environment, very, uh, I don't know, Tron-esque? I guess we know why it's escaped the system. Boost pads allow you to perform massive jumps. Move onto or land on a boost pad to use. Uh, hold them to adjust your position while in the air. Whoa! Yep, okay. Whoa! <laughs> This is so cool! Oy. Okay. So we made it up. Now where am I going? Um, I guess we'll go this way. This looks promising. Yeah. Off that direction, then we can hang a right and go that way. Oh, this is so cool looking. I love the environment. Simple premise so far, and I mean, the environments aren't that... Like, the actual running so far hasn't been that big a deal. It's just move, jump, and aim, pretty much. But, uh... I like all the backgrounds and stuff. Oh, God, am I gonna make that? Oh, that was close. I almost missed it. Oh, shoot. Yeep. Moving blocks allow you to reach new areas. Some moving blocks activate only when landed on. Um, okay. Moving block. Oh, whoa. Oh, okay, that's really trippy. Thought I was gonna move over there, but apparently not. Not jumping down that way? No? Okay. Where the hell am I going? Uh, I would assume down there? Maybe? No? Guess we're just taking a magic carpet brick ride. Um, whoa, okay. Are we approaching the end of the level? Is that what's happening? Because it looks like that's what's happening. Head down, got it. Boink. Don't even need to run or jump for these. I can just run off and aim. Oh boy. Okay, and hopefully this is where I want to go. Whoa! This is so cool. I like platformers too, I really do. First person runs are just that much more exciting. Let's touch it. Data splines allow fast movement through the air. Jump into the entry point sphere to use. Some data splines can be exited before reaching the end point, others cannot. Whoa, okay. Yep, okay. Where am I going? Whoa, oh, there we go. Kinda lost track of little red bubbles for a minute there. And that'll be the end point? Yep. But I see another one. Bounce, 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 bounce. Oh, up, oh, there we go. And into this blind. Immanitus Entertainment presents a game by Ollie, Bro uh, Ollie Boyce. Construct Escape the System. This is so cool.
All right, where is this taking me to? Am I gonna go, oh, that's as far as it goes, okay. Well, let's see where else we can get to then. I kinda wonder if I'll get any other types of, like, powers or anything, I don't know. Okay, yeah, that's gonna, that's a moving platform, so it's gonna move up. Man, I gotta tell you, the scale of it all is kind of impressive too. It's it bigger than at first it looks, you know, you start running towards it and it just looks like a little platform or a little disc or something and then you land on it and it's just way bigger than you'd anticipate. Move into the light, oh, move into the light, but I don't wanna get shocked or electrocuted, so if you don't mind. Whoa, okay, and apparently I could, f okay, it's not letting me move off, off of that. Construct hub. Okay, this is the construct system main hub. The construct hub is the gateway to four distinct areas. Explore these areas and find a way to escape the system. Huh, okay, sounds very, a lot more open world than I was anticipating. All right, well, let's take a spline up this way and see where we go to. Whoa. Ah, four main systems. I'm seeing a few different platforms there. Four different doorways to go through, yep. Yeah. And this should just drop me right there, yeah? Okay, can't do anything with that. All right, so do we wanna go through crazy pyramids, funky looking rocks, cubes, or trees? Uh, we did the funky looking cubes already in the prologue kind of a thing, so I'm gonna go to the trees. Let's see what those look like to B-Hub. System error. Oh, well, okay, do I have to... Yeah, I can't make that. Okay, so maybe I can't do them in any order. I have to do them in a particular... I probably have to start with Hub A then, I guess, and then move to B. So is this one gonna be A-Hub? I would assume so. I have to imagine it goes in clockwise order. Yeah, okay, so this is to a hub. So I guess we'll do cubes again and then we'll see what happens with the trees in the next one. Man, for moving as fast as we move, this also does take a while to get places. Whoa, it's all sparkly. To a hub. A-Hub, okay, some areas within the construct system contain guide lights. Guide lights indicate points and routes of interest. Try to reach guide light locations you have not yet visited. Which, I mean, I'm guessing that would be a guide light. I'm also going to guess that I probably shouldn't just jump, well, maybe I can, I don't know. Where does this go? Does it tell me? Data point, current location A-Hub, extract power orb A1, upgrade location AI, or A1 system core access. Aha, uh -huh. maybe that's a guide light, I don't know. All right, you know what, we need to find out what happens when we land on the ground, anything? There you go, deleted objects are non-solid and can be moved through, they can be identified by their color and transparency. So that's a deleted object. So what is this? A1 system core access. Okay, so it's like there are four different main hubs and then each of those hubs is somehow connected to all of this. Okay, I see a data spline over there. I see a jump point over there. Something way up that way. We're gonna start with the spline over here. Man, I was expecting like a little sort of free running level thing where you just kind of run and jump a lot like the prologue was, the little like tutorial thing. It was just explaining how to get places. I was not anticipating multiple hubs and worlds that go with them. Okay, where's this taking me? Presumably up there, okay. So what's over here? Is this something I want? to orb upgrade. Machine orb upgrade detected. 
I'm going to assume I need to actually chase it down to get it. That has got to be what I'm after. Whoa, okay. Heep. Oh, can I make it? I can make it. Wow. Again, big and flashy. Ability orbs can be found throughout the construct system. They must first be activated in upgrade zones like this one. Activate and collect the orb for the first time by moving close and using right mouse button. Once activated, orbs can be collected from any distance. You can collect, drop, or switch orbs with RMB. Okay, machine orb upgrade located. All machine orbs now activate throughout the system. Machine orbs can be used to power inactive mechanisms. Use the orb to launch the orb forward. Look for empty machine orbs that need power. Like that one over there, presumably. Run, 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 orb! Huh. Oh, okay, there we go. I was like, guess I should have waited until it came back first. Whoa. Is there another one over here that I can use? You betcha. All right. To the spline. Which actually probably needs to be activated with this. Okay, give me that back. Okay, there we go. For a second there, I thought I just leaped straight off and was gonna die. Oh, man. Once activated, orbs can be collected from any distance. That's right, okay. Can't necessarily launch them from any distance, but they can be activated from any distance. Ow. And this is gonna take me back, probably. To A1 system core access, yep. That was so cool. Okay, so now we've got machine orbs, which in theory can be activated from like any distance, right? All right, so now we're up here. There's a guide light over there that goes somewhere. And there's one way over that way and one that's down there. This is the one that was at the spline that we used. So I'm gonna head down this way now. I'm so glad there's no fall damage. Thump. Target 550, I don't know. All right, let's just use this and see what happens. That's not gonna take me anywhere I wanna go, is it? Not really, it's just a fast travel point. I think a method of getting from there over here quickly. Ah, I kinda wish I could jump higher. Okay, let's wait for this to come back down and then we'll head up. On your left. Okay, let's go see what this sparkly thing does. Woohoo! To another orb upgrade. I like it. Flashlight orb upgrade. Okay, well, same as before. Oh my god! Thump. Okay, flashlight orb upgrade located. All flashlight orbs now active throughout the system. Flashlights create a spotlight that can be used to make hidden zone areas visible. Look for nearby flashlight orbs when encountering hidden zone areas. What, like this? Hidden zone. Um... So if I don't have that, what? Does it just, like, go away? I see. So it becomes completely invisible to me, even though it's there, unless I have the orb. And then that makes it visible. Okay. I get it. I don't really know what I'm supposed to do with it yet. Unless... Aha! That's what I needed it for. Oh, that is really trippy. Yeah. 
Ew, okay. Zip my way through all of this nonsense. Ha-ha! And... Wow! Ha-ha! Jeez, it's a long way down. Okay, back to A1 course uh, system core access. So now we've got flashlight orbs. Let's see, I probably want to use this to get to the next one. Bounce. Leap. Oh, there's something down here. No idea what it is. Hidden zone. Ah. So that's like a wall that if we had tried to get any further, we would not have been able to use because we don't, we wouldn't have had the flashlight orb to see where it lets you through. Okay, so now we can come over here and presumably that'll get me somewhere else I want to go. Uh, let's see, can I run? I mean, I don't know what that is. Oh, there's a big old box around me. Well, it doesn't matter. I gotta go this way. Okay. That's what I wanted to know. Whoa. There we are. Oh, almost didn't make that. Machine orb. Whoop. Okay, hold on. Give me that back. We can activate the machine orbs from any distance, so now I should be able to do this. And then give me that back. There we go. Okay. Now where is this going to take me? Just up that way. Okay. Nice short little ride. To get up there. Not sure why yet, but let's do it. Ah. Something fancy. What are you? To A1 system core, okay. Extract power orb from the system core. Whoa, okay. This is a bit more uh, freaky. Oop, oop, uh oh, oh no, oh no, ugh. It's not gonna take me, where is it? Nope. Uh, I think I came here too early. So, can I grab a, yep, machine orb. That's better. Which is just a way back up to where I fell from. That's what it looks like. Yep, okay. Well, that's good. I don't wanna go back to the system access. I wanna head further in. So let's try running and jumping to that point next. Ugh. Hidden zone. Oop. There we go, okay. It's still a little tough to see them. Yep. Whoa. Okay. And over here. That's probably a machine orb. There we go. Apparently it just doesn't work if I'm standing on it when I activate it. Oh ho! System core power orb. Each system core area contains a power orb that you must extract. Removing a power orb will result in system core failure after a finite amount of time. Escape the system core before time runs out. All right, so I have to get back over there. Fast way to do that looks like it's gonna be to basically just leap down probably to there. See if we can get over to that and just take the spline back up. Okay, here goes. Whoa. Escape. 
Uh, I have one minute to get out. Yep. All right. Oh boy. Okay. Will I die? No, I will not. Okay. This has got to be the way to do this. Okay. Got there. Jump. Jump. Take the spline. Less than 30 seconds. A1 system core access. System core power orb extracted. You escape from a system core with its power orb. The portal to this system core is now permanently closed. There are 16 system cores in total, each with a power orb. Extract the other 15 to escape the construct system. Okay. So we've officially made it through one out of 16 of the system cores. So does that mean I'm done with the A1 hub now, or are there other system cores to be accessed from the A1 hub? I meant to leap off a little more than I did there. Oh well, that's okay. We'll just take the long way back. Okay, so that's to A hub. What does this do again? Extract power orbs A2, upgrade location, no data. Okay, so I need, I guess, A2 before I can get anywhere else. So this goes to A hub. So let's see if we can find our way to A2, since that one was, like that's A1 system core access, right? Yeah. So is there somewhere I can go maybe to get to A2 system core access? Um, let's see. I'm trying to figure out where all these points of light are. There's one way the hell up there. Two of them up there and one way over there. All right, so I don't know. Let's go find out. Maybe I can locate something interesting here. Oh? Power orb indicators are shown in the construct hub at each of the four main world hubs. They indicate which orbs you've extracted and which you have yet to extract. Fancy. Ah, one, two, three, four. Okay, so yeah, there's four in A, four in B, 16 in total. Uh, okay, so current location, A hub, extract power orb, A2, upgrade location, no data. Yeah, same as before. But there's a spline over here that I can go take that I have not taken yet, and presumably that is a machine orb that I can use to activate said spline. So this is probably where I want to go to get to A2. Looks promising. Uh, orb. There we go. You must be A2 hub. A2 system core access, yep. All right, um, well, I see one over there. Is this a jump pad I see over this way? Let's start on this one. Yep, I wanna see where this one takes me. Long way up, that much is for sure. Wait, hidden zone. Ah, crap. I'm gonna need a flashlight orb or something for that. Oh, and there's probably one right there. Um, okay, come over this way so I can get back up. Must have just missed that orb. Because I am inobservant sometimes. All right, let's do this again. I was so fixated on the fancy jump point that I didn't really look around and see what else was in their area. Okay, so that one's a flashlight orb, which means... There we go. Had to be closer. Now I can see it. Hidden zone, but I can't... All right, hold on. There we go. 
I had to make my landing. I guess I just screwed it up a little bit. Okay, now hop up. There we go. And up to here. And voila! Hidden zone. Okay, we'll get to that one, and then I need to wait for some of these to come back. Don't I? Yes. Does that feel like leaping off? I'm not even sure what I'd land on over there. Oh, crap. Jumped too early, didn't I? Dang it! Oh, hey. Uh, okay, so... Oh, alright. That's not too horrible. Let's do it again. Uh, ooh, please tell me I can make it up here. Nope, I missed. I jumped just a little too early. I'd been making those, so I kind of got greedy on it. Okay, that's my opportunity. Go now, go now, go now. There we go. And then jump for this one. And then for this one. Awesome. Now I gotta wait for it to go back the other way so I can get to that last one. But I see something I want. Right over there. And more stuff over there. There's all kinds of cool places to go. Okay, come on. Bounce. Land and boom. More hidden zones. Thankfully I've got this flashlight orb. Okay, let me get onto that one. Then that one, then that one. Okay, we're good. I have a machine orb. I don't know why, but I have one. To A2 system core. That didn't take long. Whoa. Um. It's a lot of places to go, but you know what, guys? I think I'm all out of time for this episode, so I'm gonna pick this up in the next episode. We're gonna do at least one more on this because I'm having a blast and I want to play a little bit more and see where this goes if I can figure more of it out. So thank you all for watching, and I will see everybody in the next episode. Catch you guys later.